Thank you very much. It's great to be with you this morning. And I'm just so uh, proud and honored to be in this amazing state that I've now found out only has 10 counties in it, which is a wonderful thing because I've been traipsing through Iowa. I think we've been in 84 counties already. So 10 counties is a breeze. I look forward to being with everybody. It's so great to be here. You know, this is a moment in our nation's history that's very unique. You know, it seems like every election we, we think that and we see that. But I think when we see all the division, all the things that we have going on in our country today internally, externally, we're in a couple wars today that we're fighting via proxy. We are, we are a broken nation. We're seeing, I guess, division at an all-time high in my lifetime. I'm 55 years old. I've never seen anything like this except for, I think, at the time possibly in the early 70s, coming out of the Vietnam War and the Nixon era. If you remember Jimmy Carter, stagflation, high inflation, high taxes. But the message I have for America Day is not just to look at where we are, but how can we navigate and move forward? And what is the daylight through this mess that we're in? And I've been calling this message that I've been sharing across America uh, the way to freedom. And some of you may have seen our funny little hats here that have WTF on them. Um, but I just want to for clarity, this means the way to freedom. Somebody told me, Ryan, you're a pastor also. Why do you have that hat? And I was like, what else does that mean? I don't know anything else other than the way to freedom. And so um, I, I really believe it's appropriate here in this state, this live free or die state. And this is, by the way, I want to thank New Hampshire because you guys are so important to uh, my candidacy and my campaign because first in the nation really matters as long as it's relevant. And relevancy is at stake all the time because there's moving factions trying to narrow the field quickly. But I'm a, I'm a voice that's shining that's time for us to get the heart of America back and what we really stand for. We are broken financially. We're broken culturally. You know, and I'm sharing a unique message for our party because our party is really broken. I think we all can see that in Congress and everywhere we go. And it's a time now where it's time that we come together to solve some of our biggest problems. Right now, we're at war on a couple fronts, really because of this, because of the weakness of the presidency of the United States today. And we have to win back the White House in this next election, no matter what. No matter what. We have to. So we're at war. We are at, we're at a proxy war, obviously, with Russia, obviously, in another one with Iran right now. And if we're not careful, China is going to be making their move soon, really because of the weakness of our nation, not just culturally, but financially. I'm a CEO of an investment bank that I co-founded about 20 years ago. Um, we have about 400 employees across the nation in the different companies we have and in Canada. I'm also a pastor. My wife and I uh, co-founded a ministry about 10 years ago that we're still the senior pastors of. And so I'm sharing with America this core thing that America needs an economic revival. And I'm sure you would agree, but we also need a heartfelt spiritual revival. Why are we in this broken state that we're in? And this is the this is, to me, the greatest existential threat to the United States of America. It's not China. It's not terrorism. I really do believe it's not Iran. It's not Russia. It's the very core division of who we stand. And President Lincoln spoke to this, this type of place that we're in right now when he said this, our greatest threats will never come from abroad. But if we were ever destroyed, it, America itself would be its author and finisher. And it, I'm speaking to this moment because when we are broken like we are, we can't solve problems. Um, one of the biggest messages I'm sharing as an economist is that we've got to solve this debt crisis we're in. And I have put together a plan because right now we're $32 trillion in debt, but we're going to be $50 trillion in just a few short years. And I'm in conversations this morning where we're talking with people about, is there going to be a great reset or is there going to be something significant that happens? I'm running to save the next generation financially. I'm running to do something we haven't done since Ronald Reagan to balance the budget. I'm running to make sure that we transform and get rid of the monopolies in our healthcare system, which is eating away our economy. I'm running to make sure we have a secure border, that our children's future is secure. And I'm running to make sure that we transform, I think, the Republican message to urban America, that we actually have a message for them that's the opposite of socialism. And it's through a volunteer movement of transforming education through, obviously, college students all over the nation volunteering and giving a few hours a week to mentor young people on how to read, write, and do math. I'm running to make sure that we start a job movement in America again, because right now we're lacking in jobs and we are, we are complacent in society. The work, 
effort that you and I had growing up is not prevalent in the next generation. And we need to start a work movement in urban America. And when we do, we can win the heart of urban America again. We lost 46 of the top 50 cities, and it's time that we shine this lamp of freedom. And that's what I'm calling the way to freedom. It's time for us to get our freedom back in America, and that's why I'm running. You can learn more about our campaign at Binkley2024.com, and we have some of these hats available if you want one, but the way to freedom is our message, and it's time for America to be free again. God bless you. We look forward to talking to you soon.